So this, this next stack. Welcome back to my channel, I am Molly, and I'm super excited for today's video because I will be showing you some of my favorite all-time snacks. I used to eat these all the time in college, and I haven't been eating them recently, so this video is to re-inspire myself to eat some things that I used to love. I also wanted to give you some ideas on some snacks that are super easy, super yummy, and things that you can eat every day. Let's just jump into the video. <laughs> For my first snack, I'll be showing you how I like to make this blueberry bagel. You can use any bagel that you'd like. Here I'm using some whole wheat bagels. Take your bagel and cut it in half. You can use both sides, but I'll only be using one half today. Originally, I wanted to film this video and do a voiceover, but as I was filming, I decided to do a taste test, and because I did the taste test, the video kind of took on a new format, so this first part, I will be doing the voiceover. Go ahead and pop your bagel into the toaster, and you can toast it for as long as you'd like. Gather the other ingredients, such as nut butter. Here, I'm using almond butter, some fresh blueberries, and later on, I'll show the agave nectar and hemp hearts. After your bagel is nice and toasty, spread on a nice thick layer of the almond butter. Drizzle on a little bit of the agave nectar just to sweeten up the almond butter a little bit. Then this next part is my favorite. You're just going to load up as many blueberries as you can fit onto that bagel. Drizzle a bit more agave on top of the blueberries so that the hemp hearts or hemp seeds have something to stick to. Let's give it a try. Mm. So yummy. When you bite into a juicy blueberry, mm, so good. For sure, make sure you have a plate underneath because blueberries will be dropping. Some of the blueberries are sweet and some are a little bit tart. So it's nice to have the agave just as a little extra sweetness. You can use any type of blueberries you want for this, but if you have access to buy fresh picked blueberries or to go pick your own, that's the best to use because they're just not as mushy as the ones that you buy at the store. Very filling. Mm. Okay, let's go on to the next snack. This next snack is literally so easy. Um, well, it kind of depends if you're good at peeling a mango or not. I'm not really good at peeling a mango, so it kind of takes me a while, but otherwise it's really easy. You just need a mango and some tahine. Some people are really good at peeling mangoes with a knife. I just use a peeler like this, which is not the most efficient, but I'll show you how I do it anyway. This is up to you, but I think it's better using a mango that's not super ripe. I like to cut the mango is I try to find the middle of the mango cut on one side but stay as close to the seed as possible okay there we go and then I'll just cut these pieces off to eat and I cut the other side I just cut them into thin slices. Voila! And don't forget to also just make slices around the mango for any other pieces because there's still lots of good mango. So now I'm going to take my tahini and then I'm just gonna sprinkle it 
on a piece of mango. Just a little bit, like that much. And then you eat it. Mmm. It's so yummy. There's a little bit of sweetness from the mango, but then this just like, I don't know how to explain this. You just have to try it. It's like not spicy. It has like a little spice, but it doesn't feel spicy, if that makes sense. My next snack is something that I used to eat all the time, especially when I was a sophomore in college. For this, you will need tortillas of your choice. I'm using whole wheat organic tortillas, strawberries, a banana, nut butter of your choice. I'm using almond butter here again. This is optional chia seeds and some old fashioned oats. First, you have to cut your strawberries and you want to make sure that they're nice and washed. And then you can just go ahead and slice them up. Then I just like cut these pieces off too because they're still good. Now you want to cut your banana and I'm going to cut half first and then we'll see how much I need after that. I haven't made this in a while so I don't really remember all the specific measurements. I just want to slice them. Take your tortilla. Take your nut butter. You're just going to spread a nice layer. Now you're going to want to start layering on your strawberries and bananas. You're going to wrap this up like a burrito. Now I'm going to take my agave again and I'm just going to drizzle a little bit on. Then I'm going to add chia seeds. good amount. Taking some of the rolled oats and then just gonna sprinkle it on top. I like doing this just for a little bit more sustenance and texture. I'm gonna try to roll it all up. I may or may not have to take out some stuff. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, fold in the sides and then you're just gonna wanna roll it over. Your hand's gonna get messy because you have to tuck it in. It's out of the microwave now and it's pretty warm. Oh, it's hot. Thanks. Look at that. This does taste best warm because everything's just all comforting and ooey gooey. Let's give it a taste. Also, Juices might come from the bottom, like I already see some juices, but that's like the best part. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I tasted just the bottom. That strawberry juice is sweet. Okay. Mmm. Just like how I remembered it. I was probably in middle school and one of my good friends Karin taught me this snack so shout out to Karin if you're watching this is super easy it only consists of two ingredients so you'll need a tortilla again and then salsa of your choice basically you're just going to 
take some salsa and then you're going to transfer into a little dipping bowl. Now you're going to take your tortilla. You can warm it up, but I usually don't. Now what you're going to do is just fold it in half, fold it in half again, and then fold it in half again. So now I have my big tortilla, it's kind of like a dipper. And then just dip it into the salsa, and then you eat it. Mm. It's really good. This might sound a little bit gross, but it's actually really, really good. As long as you have a tortilla that you like and a salsa that you like, if you want. <laughs> Instead of folding it to eighths, you can just fold it in half first. And then take that half, fold into the fourth, fold it into this position so that's just not as thick. That wraps up all of my snack ideas that I have for you today. Please leave me a comment down below if you've tried any of these before or which one you're going to try. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss any new videos from me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!